Well, we arrived to Rome and we are in the Vatican inside Rome. Is the smaller country of Italy. It lands inside Rome. Something like 44 acres. It's not the smaller in the world because in the world there are more more small countries. The power of the church in Eastern Europe and Eastern Eastern world is unbelievable because there were a, a mix between politics, social control, and faith, and that mix is very, very explosive, very. Um, powerful the power of the church was the same as the country administration power used to be just to have an idea for example if the if an invasion took place 30% of the income has to come to the church And if you are uh, invested in war as a citizen, you receive your part as well. That's why war was the way to rise, the way to improve, and the way to become better comes uh, it's not understandable for us these days but in those days that was that in this beautiful beautiful square take place uh, on Saturday and space for reflection with the Pope very organized very comfortable because there are seats for everybody and it's not uh, like the the typical typical um, mass is more than uh, is more a reflection with the people from all over the world and the Pope salute every single delegation from all over the world uh, it, people spoke in the microphone in so many languages so we will see that in a further in another video the the cues to get into the Vatican are agile the, but there is a weapon control the your bag have to be checked and you have to be patient because it's going to take more than more than an hour in the queue but um, it worth it because it's amazing it's beautiful this cathedral a cathedral is a place where a bishop works. An abbey is different. An abbey doesn't have to have a, a bishop.
this project have been enlarged for many times this is where St. Peter's is buried they do this gorgeous gorgeous construction over St. Peter's grave because the pilgrims can't see where St. Peter's were so a project was launched to build this beautiful sail and the columns in order to identify clearly St. Peter's grave. St. Peter as a Christian was pursued by Romans. The Romans follow and pursued all um, so many Christians. Because the Roman religion was based in 12 gods and the Judaism and Christianism was based in just one God and the Christians start to find followers and followers all over the antique world and that wasn't a good news for the Roman Empire. So they became Christians slaves and they used them in the circus. They put them in fighting with the brave animals or to fight with a Blaze as a gladiator just when a Roman emperor became Christian uh, stopped that moving on, moving on of try to kill Christians then was the point when the Christian uh, Catholic religion spread out all over Europe because when Christianism became the official religion of the Roman Empire and Rome was well, Rome invaded many countries and it means the Catholic or Christian religion became official until until no to the middle of, of Great Britain. This beautiful place is more than forty three meters high, more than one. 183 meters length but it's not very good to pray because there's any place to sit and and it's plenty plenty of people to pray and to sit and relax and connect with um, spirituality. There are thousands of church in Rome with a beautiful atmosphere, but this one is gorgeous and has its <clears throat> sorry own energy. Look, at, for example, the domes with gold. 
the out of the of the cathedral is there's a lot of pilgrims from all over the world but for example these are from Africa um, they sang as very similar than the people in Brazil also there is a Vatican Museum with very beautiful uh, pieces painting and other kind of pieces decoration art and we went straight to the 16 chapel because we were a little bit tired uh, so we pass through the museum quite quickly One of the popes um, started building the 16th chapel. It had an, a different name. He, he wanted a mausoleum for himself, but he, after he died, the work wasn't finished. So another pope, 16 it was his name, something like that. And uh, start this work, and he uh, recommend this work for two great and marvelous artists like Michelangelo. Uh, he in charge the the sailing, and Raphael Raphael to paint. The, the walls but Michelangelo don't really love to paint he likes or he prefer to work um, on sculpture anyway there were a bunch of money on the table so he took the work he started up the work. Uh, he likes to paint stand, not no, not laid, and so they build some um, scaffolding to to paint the sail. Raphael, in the other hand, was young, 25 years, motivated, and the Pope was very intelligent to make this competition between these two great, great artists in order to obtain the, the, the better result. So, the, this famous artist doesn't work just by themselves, they have to to contract some some help. Pretty furniture on this museum. If you see this map, Europe is in the main center of the map uh, because they thought Eurocentralist way. They thought Europe was the center of the world and they thought that 
every single planet turns around Earth. But scientists who after that were judged told them that that was a mistake because everything turns around the sun in our galaxy. So the, the Earth was in the center of, of the universe. Galileo told them the truth and he nearly got killed. In the 16th chapel, he's not allowed to record and the security is very jealous about it. But we did it. Mm. Oh, the access to the Vatican and, and the 16th Chapel in, to Hall, Italy, for me, for the people with uh, disabilities, was great. That wall. What? Call my attention was that in the center of the dome is the creation where the man is so uh, protagonist, and in the other the sail you can see um, the creation of of the woman smaller. Uh, then you can see. some scenes here's the important thing is here's the place when the bishops from all over the world pick up the Pope Catholic Church still have a lot of power more than 1,000 million followers Uh, here in the walls are the the uh, the things that you see like curtains or fabric is was painted for Raphael. This is the exit. This is my stepmother who I enjoy enjoy a lot with this is a Paki or a Pakistani store very clean very very nice now we are saying goodbye to Rome there are a lot of merchandising beautiful and cheap that you can bring to your relatives for look this look the bride having a photo session in the bridge this castle used to be the castle where the pope protect protect himself with the swiss swiss uh, army or the Swiss uh, guard when the city was attacked. The river is the Tiber. And there is an area uh, with good restaurants. Look, the merchandise I told you from 
pounds for some little present. Eating good in Rome is not a problem. Eating cheap is a problem. But all Europe is very, very expensive in, in these days. But if you want to eat Trastevere, that area is plenty of restaurants. The restaurants we visit was recommended for a friend that lived there. So we didn't have any problem with the food. A lot of pasta, of course. They use usually eat pasta as a first plate. Yes, pasta and maybe the restaurant put some bread. Uh, after that, they have the second plate, which could be chicken or uh, lamb or beef, but it's difficult to eat all that. It's not easy. I think um, maybe you can ask and share. As for food and share, because uh, it's very difficult to eat pasta, bread, and then second plate and your drink is nearly impossible. A lot of antique stores, very beautiful. Very shallow. You have to be careful to to not drop anything. And after after this visit, we booked a concert inside a chapel. That's highly recommend. We will go through this place in another video. In Italia is very famous Vivaldi, who played violin. Baroque music, 